should of force his skin when observers were not able to explain the motion of an object using Newton's law of motion in some specific conditions. This was a challenging situation for the validity of Newton's law of motion. It raised the question if Newton's law are valid or not in every situation. The solution to this challenge came in form of an imaginary force known as pseudo force. Whenever an observer is in non-inertial frame or accelerated frame, he is not able to explain the motion. As per Newton's first or second law of motion, and need to consider an imaginary force. Imaginary force is also known as fictitious or pseudo force. And in case of circular motion, this is known as centrifugal force. To know more about the inertial and non-inertial frame, please check out our another video on inertial and non-inertial frames. Click the link above here. The same link is there in our description box as well. Now let's consider some real life situations. Here a car is moving in positive x direction with an acceleration a. A reference frame is attached to the observer in the car and moving with the same acceleration. The accelerated observer in the car will see that the outside trees are moving with the same acceleration but in opposite direction. Now question is who is forcing them to move? In this case there is no real force that is working on the tree. The observer sees the tree accelerating because of some unseen force. But in reality the tree is not moving anywhere. The observer is only moving with acceleration and he is in an accelerated frame of reference. When an observer is in accelerated frame of reference and observe object motion, he sees something which is not explainable by using Newton's law of motion. In this type of situation, the observer need to consider an imaginary force Fp. And that is equal to the mass of the object multiplied with the acceleration of frame of reference from where the observer is watching and it acts opposite to the motion of the frame. By assuming a pseudo force or imaginary force, the observer can create motion equation as per Newton's law. And that safeguard the Newton's law of motion and keep those valid in all situations. As in this case, the Fp is equal to minus Me. And this is Fp is a pseudo force or imaginary force which explains the motion of this tree. A similar situation arises when the observer is also moving in a circular path with an object. He sees the object is at rest in his frame of reference. But in reality, the object is in circular motion and have a net force as centripetal force Fc, which works toward the center of the circle. So object and observer have accelerated motion in the circle. For this accelerated observer, since the object is at rest, as there is no relative motion between observer and object, there must be a balancing force Fp. Fp is a pseudo force which is equal and opposite to the centripetal force. This pseudo force is known as centrifugal force. Now, before end of the session, let's know about one important fact about the pseudo force. As per Newton's third law of motion, the real forces exist in pairs. Every action has an equal and opposite reaction force. If an object A here, applies a force as action on another object B, which is a weight of this object A, then B applies an equal and opposite force on object A as a reaction force, which is a normal force in this case. The normal force is equal to the weight of the object A. But a pseudo force is an imaginary force, 
Since this is an imaginary and not a real force or action force, it doesn't have any reaction and exists as a stand alone force. So whenever an observer is in non-inertial field, he has to consider a pseudo stand alone force, which cannot be correlated with any other force as action and reaction forces. That's all we have for today's session. I hope you would have enjoyed the session. If you think you have learned something new today, then please click like button and subscribe us for similar type of videos related to high school level. Please put your comments and suggestions in the comment box. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.